In this video, an M710IC 70 kg robot is featured. The robot is mounted on a robot transport unit or RTU. The RTU gives a robot a greater work envelope, allowing one robot to cover an area that multiple floor mounted robots could cover. This system is designed to handle a wide range of parts. Each end of arm robot tool has multiple sets of fingers and multiple finger locations. This allows for a large range of parts, shapes, and sizes. The robot has a tool changing system allowing the robot to change tooling during production. The robot uses vision to locate parts before picking them. This allows for flexible fixturing of parts. In this example, the parts are stacked on a pallet. The pallet is moved into position and aligned with floor mounted pallet locators. In this example, the robot locates one of one layer of parts. And then, then the robot picks one part, loading a lathe. As you can see, the robot has a back to grip back gripper configuration. This allows for a part swap in the machine tool. Being able to swap parts limits the downtime of the machine tool, keeping the machine tool full at a maximum amount of time. When the first part is finished, it will be unloaded with the empty gripper. The gripper will then flip, loading a second unfinished part, thus showing the machine tool being empty for a very short period of time. The robot then places the first part off of the machine on an inspection pallet to be inspected for quality control to make sure the machining process was completed successfully. After it has been inspected, an operator presses a button telling the robot inspection passed. The robot then picks the part and places it on a queuing stand. The robot will now continue to swap parts in and out of the lathe until one layer is complete. At that time, the robot will switch end of arm tools, picking up the camera, taking a picture of the pallet layer slip sheet. It will then remove the slip sheet to expose the second layer of parts so it can continue the process. This system was designed with future expansion in mind. Mounting the robot on an RTU allows for a second machine tool to be added to the system that can be serviced by this same robot. If there's more than one operation for a part, the robot can load and unload the first original machine tool, load and unload the second machine tool if added, and also pick the parts from the inbound and place them on the outbound pallet stacking systems as well. Using the tool changing system also allows for adding more tools to the system in case a wider range of parts is added to be machined.